Okay, now welcome to this new episode on uh, RAG system, where I want to discuss how you can use a local large language model to EC extraction of text. So the basic point is uh, if I have a local large language model, I can use LM Studio or other software like Ollama to simply host a local version of a large language model, probably quantized. Um, you need to have a GPU or an Apple, but you can run a local model. And the reason why you can want to run local model, one of the first reason is privacy, but also another reason is I have my model, so my model keeps, it's the same, and I'm not subjected to change of model by a provider because now I'm using a certain model from OpenAI or Claude or Anthropic. And when month passed, they tend to change the large language model, new version, and they can answer differently. So um, the I want to use a, lo a local model. And all the software like Olama or LM Studio allow hosting that model and expose through a local host API that has the same schema of OpenAI. So it has the very same schema of OpenAI API. And, and this is normal because OpenAI was the first large language model to be used. So almost every piece of software can access OpenAI API. So you simply need to redirect to a local host and you can call your local large language model. And the interaction with large language model are pretty much simple, are pretty much the same for every large language model. It can be cloud, it can be a local large language model, it can be OpenAI. They allow for a chat model, then function calling and multimodality. And everything is supported by the OpenAI API. So you can expect to use all the feature of your local large language model simply using an hosted version that exposed the same schema of OpenAI. Basically, this is a simple schema. I have my LM Studio that download models from Hugging Face. Then I can expose it with a simple OpenAI exposed in localhost. It has the very same shape, the very same format of OpenAI API. So with a semantic kernel, I can simply call my local large language model, letting semantic kernel believe that it is actually calling OpenAI. If we want to use semantic kernel, semantic kernel has a specific configuration that allow you to specify a different base URL to access um, your local large language model. Um, this allow you to simply change uh, the configuration and being able to call your local large language model. The only drawback is uh, this method is marked actually as experimental, so it could be removed in a future release, but it's very simple to use. And I show you immediately how you can do uh, interaction between um, kernel, semantic kernel and your local large language model. This is LM Studio. I'm not going to dwell into how it works a lot. You find a lot of information online, but I'm using this. Uh, you, you can use the normal chat model, or I can use this developer tab, and I can simply select a model. I am selecting the newest Gemma 3 and 4 billion because it fits uh, entirely in my GPU, so it is pretty fast. And uh, you have this switch here that allow you to expose your large language model throughout a local host in port 1234. So actually, as you can see in the lower part in the debugger, the server is up and running. Now I can simply uh, load standard semantic kernel and I can use this configuration where I'm specifying the redirect URL. So I'm redirecting to my local host 1234 slash v1 and it's the URL that LM Studio create for me. And then when I configure the uh, semantic kernel, I need to disable the SKX0010. If not, it cannot compile. And I can use this, add OpenAI chat completion, where I don't specify any API key because I've configured LM Studio not to have any API key. It is simply open. And I specify a different endpoint and an HTTP client that I can use where I changed my timeout because, you know, local large language model, if you use a large local language, a large language model that has a lot of parameter, it can become quite slow. So you can require even minutes to generate something. So I prefer to give a larger timeout. And that's all. That's the configuration. Now I can simply 
call the uh, my uh, my invoke prompt async using which is the capital of France answer like pirate Barbossa and if I press play and I go to my um, my LM studio you can see that I have some dump here in the lower part where it can simply tell me what is happening but the net effect is okay it generate information so I'm actually not using uh, OpenAI, but I am using a local large language model to generate text. And as you can see, it's very, very simple, thanks to uh, semantic kernel capability of uh, changing the endpoint and the HTTP client of the OpenAI configuration. Now, another important part, if your model is uh, multimodal, like Gemma 3, you can using uh, the multimodality sending images and ask for a description of the images. So. I can, as usual, get my iChat complexion service. I can, as previous example, force the answer to be a specific uh, JSON using function call because Gemma3 also supports function call, so it can be used for your agent. And then I can simply uh, load an image that is a image, it's a page of a dreamy manual. It's a technical manual with a lot of image. And I can simply say, ah, hey, this is my chat. So I have a text content in which I give the instruction. Uh, I want you to extract uh, the information, blah, blah, blah. And then an image content. So actually I'm sending an image. Now, as you can think, the generation is slower. And if you look at what is happening um, in your LM Studio, it is actually uh, encoding the image and then it starts generating tokens. So as a matter of fact, if I'm going to print the function call, I have clearly a good uh, description of my image. So effectively, I have used semantic kernel to use function calling and also image multimodality to have my Gemma 3, 4 billion describe an image, a complex image. And this can be useful for text extraction because you can use this local model to understand what it is in the image and decide maybe to call much more larger model online, but you can use this small model for quick analysis of your image. And if you are, um, if you want privacy, this can be also used to extract text if you want. Now, when you work with local model, especially with small local model like this, that has only four billions. As an example, I ask him a description of the image and I force a function call. So I have forced the answer to be a function call. And as you can see, the answer is pretty much small. So the full description is quite not so full. Uh, it's a simple, the page detailed initial setup step for operating a robot vacuum cleaner. It's not so uh, detailed. And this, uh, it, this is an experiment. So you need to find if your local large language model work well with this kind of interaction. For Gemma, as an example, using function call, make it answer poorly in this kind of situation. So let's see how you can have a better description without using function call. Now, the example is the very same as before, but this time I have no function call behavior, so I simply want a text answer. So if I run all the example, uh, when it's time to, uh, to create this call, as you can see, it is start generating token as usual. And this time the generation took longer because without function calling, I have used the same prompt in which I asked Gemma to give me a detailed description of the image. Without function calling now, the Gemma model is working much more uh, as I want to. And this is a simple example because local large language model have limitations. So in this situation, if you use Gemma 3, only 4 billion parameter, and if you want to use to describe an image, usually forcing a schema like short and long description, make it answer poorly. And if you look at the answer inside this example where I have not used function calling, as you can see, wow, now you have a really, a really um, better description. So you have a longer description, even if, as you can see, probably it's not the same level of answer you can have from a GPT for O or other thing, but this run locally, it identifies four images in the picture and is correct. And it identifies for all the various image, some detail, uh, some details from the image. So it is pretty much good for only a 4 billion parameter that run locally. 
And as you can see in 30 seconds, I had the description of the image. So it's pretty fast and it's pretty good. To conclude this video, thanks to Semantic Kernel, it is quite simple to redirect the call from OpenAI to a local, to a local host server where you can use LM Studio or maybe Olama or other uh, software to host a local large language model. And as you can see, it works perfectly with chat model. It works perfectly with multimodality. If your local model supports multimodality, it works perfectly even with function calling. If your local model supports function calling, you need to experiment because as you see with a very small um, language model like Gemma, we have uh, a we have not so good description if you're using multimodality and function call at the same way. And it's much more better to have a, des a description of the image without using function call. So feel free to experiment with your own large language model. The nice thing is the same code will work perfectly simply changing the language used by LM Studio. So as an example, if you want to change another local large language model, you can simply change the model hosted by LM Studio. It will expose the model, always import localhost 1234 by default, and you, need, you don't need to change any line of code inside your semantic kernel uh, code because you are simply accessing LM Studio and it's LM Studio that is deciding which model you are calling. So you can experiment with different model and look at the model that has the best compromise uh, from speed of execution and quality of the result. Bye bye, I'm waiting you for the next video. Free audio post production by Alphonic.com.